Now let's find out what's been going on at GBBN. Here to tell us about it is Drunk Architect. Welcome to the show. Hi, Tina. <laughs> tell us, what's going on with you? What are you working on these days? I'm uh, drawing someone else's building. <laughs> because we are the architect of record. And um, that means... So they put Matthew in charge. So Matthew's the president of GBBN, right? Yes. He is the president. He is the head of design at Cincinnati. And he's great. But he talks to me in questions. And I have to interpret what he's saying. Anyway, so they did this whole design expedition to tell us like how to be good design designers. And a bunch of people went and they looked at buildings, talked about those buildings, did diagrams about those buildings. <laughs> you know, we developed a poster and we put that on the fourth floor and it talked about who we are. And they told us that we needed to infuse joy into our designs. You know what that would bring me joy? A Thank you, drunk architect. Let's talk about Revit. It's always great to have your insight. And we love to have you here to share. We'll see you next time. <laughs> oh my god. And in Pittsburgh, Ann Chen is being investigated for juicing as Jose Canseco mentioned her twice in his tell all book. People have been wondering why the office breakfast has been so productive. You tell him. You tell him, Tina. That's stupid. What are you doing here? Switching to news from in four, it is still unknown what they actually do. Do you know, Tina? Um, but I do hear that Donald Trump may be interested in having them decode Hillary's emails. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, tragic news out of West Virginia. The Charleston Civic Center burned down to the ground in flames last night, leaving nothing left 